Kyla and welcome or welcome back to the Infinite Library. So today I'm going to be doing my March TBR which is very kind of hazy loosey-goosey to be honest this month. I had quite a packed sort of planned reading month back in February and April is going to be magical readathon. So I also have a lot going on in March. I've got a convention happening. It is my birthday on the 1st of March. I've also got like some other little things going on. So whilst I'm anticipating being able to read a lot because I've got a lot of traveling that I'll be doing, I've not really got any kind of set plans about what I want to do like themed TBR wise. So given that we're also going to be going into a heavy reading month, with April Magical Readathon and I have some other projects that I want to be getting to in the year. I'm kind of seeing March as being more of my like more relaxed TBR. I'm just going to try and get to a couple of books that maybe I've had out from the library for a while. I've got some book club stuff I'm going to be doing but nothing too major and I'm just gonna see how it goes really. So for the books that I'm definitely going to be reading in March, the first is going to be my book club book which I don't have a copy of just yet but it is waiting for me to pick up in the library at the moment and that is Translation State by Anne Leckie. It is a sci-fi space opera um, which sounds really interesting. Um, I don't remember a whole lot about the premise to be honest because the premise sounds a bit complex but it's basically following these three different people. It's very um, LGBT like inclusive and yeah it sounds really interesting. It's quite a new book and yeah I'm excited to get to it this month because I've also really been wanting to read more sci-fi. So this is perfect timing honestly that we went for a sci-fi this month. So that is one of my books I'll definitely be reading this month. I'm also aiming to, if not finish, but at least get a good chunk through Royal Assassin by Robin Hobb. This is for Literary Diversions Fits Along. I've already read Assassin's Apprentice, I can't say it apparently, and this is the second book in the what, the Farseer trilogy this is, and by the time this video goes up the live show would have already happened for Assassin's Apprentice, and we have two months now to read Royal Assassin, which is probably half the size. I honestly do not remember a damn thing about this book. A lot of the things I thought happened in the second book actually happened in the first, so I'm sure it will come back to me as we're, as I'm reading it, but at the moment I feel like I'm going in pretty blind. But I'm looking forward to it. Um, it's more the third book that I'm dreading a little because I know I kind of quit that one because I found it too depressing. But this is one that I will definitely be getting to, if not finishing, but hopefully finishing in March. I'm also going to be buddy reading the second book in the Strange the Demus Dreamer duology, Muse of Nightmares, with my friend Jules Gemharts. Haven't got it yet, but I will be getting hold of a copy in the next couple of days. So those are kind of like my free priority books for the month. And then I've got a couple of other books I'm just going to try and get to essentially. If I don't, it's not the end of the world. But they're ones I kind of would really like to get to. I also am still buddy reading it, so I'm not super far into it, but I am aiming to get to a little bit further at least with this. So I will be making some slow progress on it as well during the course of the month. Other books that I'm wanting to get to, surprise, surprise, Emily Wilde fell off my TBR again. I really have to get to this so this is my plan is that March I'm finally going to read it. I have no good excuse for why I haven't read it yet. I've just been busy reading other things essentially so I'm determined I will finally get to Emily Wilde's Map of the Overlands in March. I also have Empire of the Vampire by Jay Kristoff. Um, been wanting to read this for a while and my friend let me her copy of it and she really enjoyed it. So this is quite a chunker as well so I don't know if I'll finish this in March but I'd like to at least start it and get a vibe for kind of how it's what it's like. Um, it's sounding a lot more Interview with the Vampire than I was kind of expecting um, with it kind of being about this vampire hunter being asked about his history by a vampire or something. Like, I guess a reverse interview with a vampire. <laughs> I don't know, but it sounds really fun and I hope I'll like it a lot. In my quest to read more sci-fi, my other books I'm, I'm considering getting to, um, I have A Strange and Brilliant Light by Ellie Lee. This was a Christmas present from a co-worker of mine and it just sounds really interesting and it's quite short. So we'll try and get to this. 
else. And then I have a manga series that I've owned for quite a while and I've never actually finished. I've watched the anime for it, but as you can see, it's very old. This is kind of like a, I want to say it's 60s or 70s series, but this is To Terror, which there is an anime adaptation of this called Towards the Terror. And it is a sci-fi story, basically, that has some kind of magical elements involved. Um, and they're quite thick volumes, but this is a whole series, it's all three volumes. And I've had this a while and I've just never got around to reading it. It is like very old fashioned art style, like I'm trying to find an example really of like, it's very like, yeah, like, it gives me like Rose of Versailles vibes, I suppose. Um, but I really enjoyed the anime and I've been wanting to get to this manga for a while. And it also kind of fulfills my bingo ball prompt of uh, reading more sci-fi and reading manga series so I figured I should really just get to this so that is my plan as well to hopefully get through this series. If I finish all of those and I still want to read more I have a couple books from my 12 and 12 recs that I may still get to. Um, these two are library books so it, it would be good for me to get to these just so I can finally take them back to the library. So we've got The Bear and the Nightingale by Catherine Arden and The Circus Infinite by Khan Wang. I've had these out for months and I still haven't read them, so it is time for me to finally get to them. So that is kind of my TBR, really, for March. I'm not really committing myself to reading a whole lot. Like, a lot of those I'll... I'm gonna try and read, but I'm not gonna, like, beat myself up if I don't. Like, other than my, my main free books... Oh, and I need to draw from my TBR draw. TBR draw time. Is that a good shake? So last month I got the LJ Smith. Because I've not really got a set TBR this month, I'm okay with it being a chonker because a lot of the other books I'm not like I'm not committed to, I suppose. They're just kind of like I'd like to get to them. So we're going with this one. Let's see, what is it? Prince Lestat and the Realms of Atlantis. Oh no. Okay, let me get it. Uh, okay. I've been putting this book off <laughs> because I really didn't enjoy Prince Lestat. I, I love Anne Rice, don't get me wrong, she's one of my favourite authors. I love the Vampire Chronicles so much. Um, we actually just started watching the new interview with the Vampire TV series last week, me and some friends, and I loved it. Like, we've only seen the first episode so far, but so good. Cannot wait to read more of it. Yeah, I I've obviously been putting this off. I think there's only one more book in the Vampire Chronicles series after this, which is Blood Communion, I want to say. But this might be good. It might be better than Prince of Start. Um, so let's, and I'll read what it's about, but this is very far into the Vampire Chronicles series, so if you don't know this series, it's all going to be a little bit confusing for you. Um, but basically it says, The Stat de Leoncourt is no longer alone. A strange, overworldly spirit has resurfaced, taking possession of his body and soul. Oh, is this going to be like another tale of the body thief kind of thing? Uh, all seeing, all knowing, his voice whispers in his ear, telling the hypnotic tale of Atlantis, the great sea power of ancient times. Prince Lestat is seduced by the spirit. When is he not seduced by someone in a book? Like, every single book with him is, I've been seduced by someone new, basically. <laughs> um, but is he right to trust it? Why has Lestat, leader of the vampires, been chosen as his bodily host? And what of Atlantis, the mysterious heaven on earth? Why must the vampires reckon so many millennia later with the terrifying force of this ageless Atalantia spirit? It falls to Lestat to discover the truth. I mean, it does sound interesting. I have like, a, this is a signed edition that I got. Like, I, I think I'll still hopefully enjoy it because I, I do love her writing style. Oh God, the font is tiny though. Look at the font, it's so small. I love her books, but there are some of her books that I'm just like, they're not great. And the prequel to this, Princess Start, was not great, unfortunately. I did not like what happened in the story at all. So that's why I've kind of been putting this one off, but I do need to get to it because there's only one more book in the Vampire Chronicles after this and then I've completed the whole series um, other than like some of the other books I haven't read yet, like the Mummy series. So it is time 
And this is so ironic that I might be reading this in the same month that I'm reading this. So <laughs> it's going to be a vampire heavy month, which I'm fine with, honestly. You know, maybe I'll just completely go vampire and also read Tempest of Tea. Who knows? Um, but yeah, I guess that's the plan for this month. I'm not happy with what the TBR jar did for me, but it had to come up sooner or later. And this isn't really thick either. It is about 400 pages, even if the font is teeny tiny. At least I'm getting to it, finally. And I may be pleasantly surprised and really love this one. I hope so. That would be really nice. Because I, I always want to love her books. And it's always disappointing when I don't enjoy some of her books. Because, as I said, she's one of my favourite authors. The Vampire Stats is one of my favourite books of all time. Um, so... We'll see. If nothing else, I always enjoy seeing what Lestat gets up to because he's such... He's just him. And he's great and I love him. So we'll see. Hopefully it'll be good and I will update you when I read it, if it's good or not. So let me grab the books and I'll, I'll do like a little pile of the this is what I have to read this month and then a little pile of maybe I'll get to it this month. So I realise I only there's two of the books I don't actually have physical yet. So these are my I'll definitely get to them this month, plus Muse of Nightmares, plus Translation State. So five that I'll definitely get to. And then and then these are kind of the I'd like to get to them, but we'll just see how it goes basically. I feel like the manga I'll definitely get to. I think this one is very short, so I feel like it'd be a quick read. And I'm really feeling Empire with a Vampire, so I'll probably be prioritising this as well. Um, it's probably just these two library books that are sketchy if I'll get to them or if they'll go on. And maybe they'll be the perfect prompt for them in Magical Reader Fun, we'll see. So yeah, that is the TBR for March. Pretty chilled, um, but... I'm pretty excited about most of these books. I've got a lot of fantasy, I've got a lot of vampire stuff, which I'm always excited about, and I've got some sci-fi. So yeah, can't complain. So that is it for me. I will see you in the next video, and until then, stay safe, stay cosy, and I'll see you in the next time. Bye! Mm -hmm.